Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My loadout for this game was extremely simple. I was running the Kilo as a primary weapon with the MP7 as a secondary weapon. So for the Kilo, it's a very simple build. It's what almost everyone is running. I have the monolithic suppressor, the longest barrel, the VLK 3 times scope. That's for the 10% hidden uh, vertical and horizontal recoil. I'm also using the commando foregrip and the 60 round magazine. As for the MP7, I don't know if this is a standard build or what everyone is running, but it was what I was running. So it was essentially the monolithic suppressor, the longest barrel, the 5 milliwatt laser, the Merc foregrip, and at the time of the video, I was actually playing with the 50 round magazine, not the 60 round magazine. I have now switched to the 60 round magazine. Uh, with that being said, uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Drop point set! Stick together! Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies! <laughs> Eliminate all targets in the AO! Why did you run him and shoot like that? I want to beat him. Like oh, that. That was lovely. I have two spectators, look at that. So to answer your question, why am I shooting like that? It's to bait him, to make him peek. Yeah. I knew he was up there. I like the Odin, it's a gun I actually like. I don't mind the two. It hurts, it packs a punch. Hostile dropping into the area, watch the skies! Three people spectating me. Okay, someone just got up top. Just landed up top. Probably the guy. It's killed. <laughs> that works. One just back. That's it. Shake it off. Please. Four people watching me. <laughs> Bro, I've killed four people and I still don't have enough money to buy a loadout. Contract complete. Recon intel secured. You've got a loadout drop inbound. Here, home. <laughs> I'll try. 
That's why I, I live pinged him, because I was like, okay, I'm gonna run this guy over. Requesting recon. UAV entering the AO. Thank you for your contribution. So for a while there, nothing really happened. I just played it extremely slow, followed the edge of the circle, played very methodically, checked my angles, made sure no one was around, no one was there to surprise kill me, and uh, yeah, just made my way to my loadout to get a ghost. At least no one is camping it. Let's ridge or try to. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. That's what I was afraid of. Come on. Fucking rocks. I don't know where I was getting shot at. That's people fighting there. Nice. Only five left. Oh, you were still for the resing? Yeah. Five left. You have a munitions box? Oh, he had stopping power. Oh my. Why wouldn't you use it? Okay, they're fighting ahead of me. I think I might be alone on this uh, side of the map. Three people left. As long as I'm not the one they kill. It'd be okay, I have a lot of cover with these trucks. Oh, it's just one guy left. I have to spot him before he spots me. There we go. That's a win. Proper job. There we go. Oh. Yeah, baby, finally a win. Whoa, well, that was uh, quite the game. It definitely started off super, super aggressive, su very intense. And towards the mid game, it kind of uh, slowed down a bit. I played it a lot more methodically. I didn't rush into combat. I tried to position myself as best as I could uh, to try to get a win for you guys. And I'm really happy that I was finally able to 
to get a win on record. Now, this is by no means my first win in solos, but it is the first one that I actually catch on video. What I've personally noticed from this game is that it's a lot more difficult to win than, let's say, Apex. I feel I can secure wins in Apex a lot easier than I can in this game. All in all, it's a very good game. It was a very good game. I definitely enjoyed playing it, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. Please leave a like and consider subscribing to the video. It helps a lot with the algorithm and whatnot. There's a reason everyone asks you for those things. Uh, so, yeah, if you don't mind, that would be great. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time.